Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my human resource machine videos. I'm back in level 9 because it has really been teasing me, and um, I found out why I have been having a hard time doing this in fewer moves than I needed to. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, it really has to do with my logic being that you you have one inbox and one outbox which is completely silly but you can pretty much I mean I if you can go like this really uh, jump of zero down here inbox I mean I can see here we have two in a row so it takes something if it's zero it goes to the outbox yada yada so this is this should really do it as well. Uh, you grab something, now we grab a new one. We deliver it, we go back, we grab something, it's not zero, so we grab another one. Hey, we grab another one. Um, this is another way really to do it that I didn't think about at all. Um, but it, it's really about the logic of being able to put in more inboxes. Um, and I just didn't think about that. Uh, so that was, um, that was very nice for me to um, <laughs> to like twist things around a bit um, just look at the like the simplicity of this system and I was like but why do I need to go back why do I need to repeat these steps you don't um, so of course it's giving the size challenge additional command lines but it is doing it in less steps so um, yeah that was uh, that was it was just really about turning things mentally and looking like completely different added which I think is a very 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 healthy thing to do so that it makes me super happy that I now have my two dots there I was just a bit worried because it was like hey what's up here but it allows me to move on now into the equalization room and um, yeah another super important programming thing here so sometimes some numbers are bigger than other numbers and sometimes they are the same how can we know I read about that here in this great book. <laughs> which numbers I which number are you for the aspirational zero? You can borrow it later. Goody goody goody. Get two things from the inbox. If they are equal, put one of them into the outbox. Discard non-equal pairs. Repeat. You got comments. You can use them if you like to mark sections of your program. All right, all right. No. Oh, you need to draw here. That's cool. I want a capital D lost. <laughs> okay, very, very nice. So we can now compare. Is this compare? Where is my equal? Yeah, I don't want a comment. Where is my equal? In the copy, copy, I've added. Where is equal? Where is my equal? Add, sub, jump, jump of zero. Inbox. We copy it there grab something and we compare it where is equal okay then we need to do this the hard way so what we do is that we subtract this one so if they are then zero what we do is we copy the first one again and we put it into the outbox. If not, we go into the inbox again. Or rather, we go home. And we start up again. So, I haven't thought this completely through, but I was expecting us to have an a comparison uh, operator uh, and equals so we grab something we save it at number zero we grab something and we remove the value from number zero 
if the value is the is zero, we grab the thing from number zero again because then they were equal. We put it into the outbox. If not, we go back and try again. Okay. No, 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 okay, okay, yeah, 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 bad, 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 yeah, we, subtra we subtract it, and we copy from number zero, seriously, what's up with this copy two? So, now we're rolling. Oh goody. Yeah, I like that. Good times. 28 steps. Okay. Okay. Guess we can go like this. Not sure if it's gonna be faster. Let's just see. No. Still down on the speed challenge. Okay, let's let's try to just be like really annoying here. Your program is now on the clipboard. Try pasting into other rooms. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Enough about that. Let's just move this. No, 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 no. Just this one. So if it is zero, we copy and we continue. If not, we just like do all the same stuff again. Copy to zero. Inbox, copy from, not copy from, subtract, zero. If it is zero, we go down here. If it isn't, we do it again. And this is a bit silly. Uh, copy to zero. Inbox, subtract from zero, and and this is for three in a row. Probably only need two in a row, right? Let's see. Uh, if it is zero, we go down here. If not. We go back up again. Not sure if that like shaved up a move or two or a speed. Not in it on the size challenge, but did we do it in the speed challenge? Yes, we did. So that's, uh, I think the speed challenge is a bit silly because it's really about making like a worse code I guess is what I would call it but um, now at least I have done both and um, yeah I like that so maximization room let's go there that, I think that's also why I kind of failed room 9 at the first because I wasn't thinking about making like less efficient code in terms of overview but um, there's been a p change of plans the accounting department has determined that treating all numbers equal is no longer profitable management wants the big numbers only oh we have negative now grab two things from the inbox and put only the bigger of the two in the outbox if they are equal just pick either one repeat grab an item Save it in location zero. Grab an item. Subtract zero. So, 
if the number we have is the biggest oh yeah we first save it of course copy to location one so if the number we are holding is now larger than zero it was the largest so if it is negative meaning that we are holding the lowest number we will copy from position zero because that was the highest number like that if not we will copy from okay I need to reorder this of course so if we are holding a negative number we copy from number two I'm missing something cool here copy from one and then we jump if it's negative we grab this and we go down here and then we deliver it to the outbox and then we rinse and repeat I guess so if it's negative if we are holding the smallest number we grab the first number if not we just grab this which is the same as if it was a zero I'm thinking this is gonna work let's see pop down the eight take the five we are not holding the largest number so we grab eight we go on grab seven it is the smallest number but it is of course a negative Oh yeah, I didn't really consider the fact that uh, like negative numbers uh, could be uh, really have another impact on this because I was assuming we would have only positive numbers to work with. Because the lower negative number is still negative even though it is a higher number. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I blew this big time. I blew this big time. I need 10 or fewer commands. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But I do need to... Let's clear this. Yes. We grab something. And we save it. We need to store both numbers. So we need to do, we need to store both numbers, like that. Right. So we need to find the largest number. Um, I'm just thinking here need to store the largest number over here which would be minus two out of these so this one works out I mean it all worked out before um, and of course we need we need a jump to go back after we deliver something into the outbox so we grab we're holding the second number If it is negative when we subtract from the first one all else equal unless we have this stuff here if it is negative we grab the first one if not Grab the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have some ordering I need to do. Uh, Mm 
Hmm. Hmm. This is the same, really. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is the same deal, I think. I need to make more coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same deal. So guys, just need to brew some coffee, then I will be back. Oh yes, I will. Alright guys, I've been looking a bit at my code here, and um, I'm thinking that if I just do like this, I should have saved uh, that one spot. I guess I've been looking too much at the screen. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. Oops. What happened? What happened? Do I really need to keep an eye on this? So it doesn't matter what you grab here. Minus three. So this here is the larger number. Okay, so that is where it fails. That is where it fails. If both are negative, then it's a problem with that order. Okay. So I really do need to check if the numbers are negative first, if they don't appear in the correct order. Yeah. I mean, this looks... So the, like, lowest number... So this works if, uh... Oh... Yeah, I get it. So you really need to check for... Wow, this is tricky, man. I mean, this really depends on how you get the numbers. For like, here it's gonna work. I suck. I tried to optimize things and it just blew it. Okay, I need to... I need to suck less. Let's just look at this with fresh eyes. We grab something from the inbox. Save it, number zero. Grab another thing from the inbox. Save it to number one. So, I now have position in number one. And I subtract the one from number zero. If my value is now lower, but I can't see if it's lower, I can only see if it is negative, which isn't good enough. That's not good enough. Because we do work with both positive and negative numbers. But if all else equal, it is now a negative number I was holding the lowest number meaning that I want to have position 0 and put that into the out box and then I want to go home and do it over again and if not then I want to get it from number 1 I'm just doing like the long code here, right? And then I need to put it in. So this is like 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Th this is 11. And I mean, depending on the negatives here, this is, this is, I guess, where it... 
Okay. I'm stupid. Copy two. Yeah. Right. Good times. Five. This gives negative one. So we need to grab this one and hand it in. That's cool. Now we have negative no matter what. But because they were in the right order, we delivered the right one. I'm not sure if this batch has been designed specifically for this, so that you always get them in the right order. And now we just need to remove a single line of code. Yeah, how do I remove a line of code? How do I do that? I cannot sub. It has to be there. I need two inboxes, I need an outbox, I need two copies. Uh, and if I remove this jump, it's gonna copy position zero. So can I somehow I need to I need to get rid of this jump here. I need to get rid of that. So how do I prevent it from double copying this stuff here? I could add in the outbox. Then I would need another one. So that's no good. This checks the number in my hand, so I can't put this up before. What are you missing, Luke Hansen? What are you missing? If zero doesn't matter. This would work. Then I would need like this stuff here. And then I would need to put in a jump anyway to do the reset. Which is still 11. New eyes, new eyes, new eyes. Inbox. Copy to there. Inbox. I need to store it in case it's the wrong number, so I can't do the math on the fly. Subtract it from this one. If it is negative, Copy from this one, and then I hand it in, and then I restart. But if it isn't, Then I copy from one I had and I hand it in. Still 11, not good enough. I wanted to do the math on the fly, like take something, save it there, take something, you know. Uh, 
subtract it from this one if it's negative then I need the other number so I copy it and then I hand it in where is my else I can do like if not I can add the value I'll go with this gem if not I can add it again then I will have the same number then I can deliver it two four six eight nine I'm not sure if this is gonna work out. This is doing the math on the fly, really. No, this was this was wrong. I removed the value. If it is negative, I copy from. Seriously, I do that all the time. The copy to copy from. I mean, this should work. Put down the largest number. This gives us a negative, we grab it again, we hand it in. Goody. Put down the largest number, subtract them, grab it, hand it in. This is 10 lines of code. It's gonna fail here, isn't it? No. Okay, so this was apparently how like you were supposed to do it, uh, do one math on the fly. But this really comes down to how, I mean, I guess these negative values are positioned in exactly this way, because if they were the other way around and you don't have better comparison, you can't do it like this. But I did it, that was good. It took a while, and I like that. <laughs> and that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long-distance telephone service. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love these small clips. Ooh. The machines are not moving, and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. That doesn't sound good. Alrighty, guys, so I'm thinking, um... Because of all my failures, I'm gonna end this video here, not to make them too long. So, um, yeah, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.